Patrick, have you ever said no to a client? Yeah, well, I mean, we certainly get um, body dysmorphic patients that come in. Okay. And as a consequence, you have to say no to them, but you got to respect their point of view. What you're seeing and they're seeing are two totally different things. People with anorexia have a different perception. And the reason for that is, if this is your eye and this is your brain, we put it this far with perception, but they perceive it different. I suppose that's what I always think, is that people are quite vulnerable. Totally. And when they do go for cosmetic alterations, totally. yeah. they're very much at the hands of the person they've gone to. Oh, we, we've seen that so often. Do you think a lot of surgeons aren't as kind of conscientious as you, or do you think that they're all very conscientious? No. Okay. No, I think that some of my colleagues, unfortunately, are driven by financial gain, yeah. and they'll just do whatever they're told to do with the patient. Yeah, we see uh, uh, quite a lot of that. And oh, totally. First thing you see, the forehead is flattened. Next thing you see that the trout pouts in. Next thing you see all the collagen enhancements. You can see the lift in the cheekbones. Um, and it, it, it becomes the next thing. And they're literally not spending money on their skincare mm -hmm. and not looking after their skin on top. And everything is just injectable. That I kind of think is a bit sad. If I don't think they need it, I'll tell them up straight. Mm. Or vice versa, if I think they need something else, I'll tell them that. Okay, you will inform them if they do need something, so. Mm. Yeah. I think that Botox and fillers benefit an awful lot of people. The only thing is, is for the cosmetic industry, I think we have to be very careful as to who they're given to. Sometimes it's the reason why that we don't look at quite enough.